Good day everybody, it is great uh, once again sharing with you on this Wednesday word of encouragement. I want to encourage you tonight by first of all saying that it is very important to read your Bible and pray every day. It's a reason for it, it's the bread of life and um, if I can encourage you in regard to how I do it because I love sharing what I do because it works for me is that I go and I specifically go and do a chapter and not just a chapter but also a specific portion of scripture that I would start with in for example I would go at the moment I'm reading the book of Corinthians 1 1 Corinthians and that's what I'm reading I'm reading 1 Corinthians and I'm going through it chapter by chapter and it really just blesses me and so specifically the Apostle Paul he's writing in Corinthians many amazing things that he's speaking to the church and he's dealing with specific topics there are many things he addresses sin he addresses the law people being under the law and not under the grace he says many things but there's something that stood out for me in the past week and that is the fact that the Apostle Paul when speaking to the Corinthian church he is saying that he has laid down everything so that people might come to salvation his purpose is to bring people to a place where they receive Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior Sunday we had a blessed time together at the gathering and um, we heard about Job and how he escaped and every time he escaped he said I alone am here to tell you and I want to ask you are you telling people about Jesus the Apostle Paul that wrote 13 books of the New Testament he is the one that is saying that I'm laying down everything so that people might come to salvation I specifically want to read to you in 1 Corinthians 9 it says from verse 19 for though I am free from all men I have made myself a servant to all I'm asking you child of God are you a servant or are you wanting to be served and then he says I've made myself a servant to all that I might win the more come on this is what it's all about the Apostle Paul is saying I have become a servant so that I win my many more Come on, that's what Jesus did. Jesus came and he said, I didn't come to be served, but I came to serve. Jesus paid the ransom, he paid the price, so that we might become saved in Jesus' name. And then he goes on and says, And to the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might win Jews. To those who are under the law, as under the law, that I might win those who are under the law. This guy is saying, I'm going to go all out, flat out, so that I might win some for Christ. He says to those who are without law as without law, not being without, and this is important, not being without law toward God. To the weak I became as weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. Now this I do for the gospel's sake. He's saying I'm doing this for the good news sake. For Jesus. I'm doing this for Jesus. Jesus paid the price. That I might be a partaker of it with you. I want to say to you today. Come on church. Let us win people for Jesus. It is worth it. Let's be servants. Let's serve. And show people the love of Jesus. Let's love the hell out of people. Come on. Let's not when we are amongst the people. Being in the crowd. Being where you're not supposed to be as a Christian. Just go there. And share the love of Jesus. But don't fall into the sin. Be a servant. Serve so that you might win some for Christ. I want to pray for you today. I want to bless you in Jesus' name. Lord, I want to thank you today that you're a great God. 
I thank you for the price that you have paid. And I thank you, Lord, that we read today in the book of Corinthians that the Apostle Paul became a servant to win some for your kingdom. And as I'm praying, and those who are listening, I pray, God, you say in your word that the harvest field is white, ready for harvest. But the laborers, they are few. I pray, the Lord of the harvest, that the laborers would stand up, go out, and share the gospel as a servant in the kingdom so that we might win some for your glory. We pray this in your precious name and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I bless you. Have a wonderful Wednesday evening further. And remember that you are blessed to be a blessing. If you haven't subscribed to our Facebook page, The Gathering Church Bulukwani, you're welcome to do that. And if you've not joined our YouTube channel, The Gathering Polokwane, please go there, subscribe, like the button, and then share it to your friends and family so that we can get this gospel message out as far as possible so that some might come to salvation in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a wonderful evening.